Well, hello everyone, it's Kevin here. Today, I wanna to talk to you about music genres. Now, a genre is a category of music that a song would be placed into if you had to categorize it. So, one of the biggest uh, you know, genres of music might be pop music, there's hip hop, there's rhythm and blues, R&B, there's so many genres. And in fact, what I learned when I started studying genres is that you start with some very high level groupings and then you can really drill down into some very detailed uh, subgenres, if you will. So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about those big groupings. I wanna dig in deep and show you guys how really far you can go with this. And also, I want to give you a couple resources that you can explore to see what kind of genres there are out in the world. So in any case, let's jump into it. All right, so first off, when I think of music genres, I think of these following top big genres. There's rock, there's rhythm and blues, or R&B slash soul, okay, as a grouping. There's hip hop or rap. There's EDM, electronic dance music. There's jazz, there's country, there's pop, classical, and alternative. So I went through those pretty quickly and I just wanted to show you guys, um, I'm gonna open up my record box, which is the DJ software that I use uh, to manage my music library and to uh, perform with. And I'll show you guys, I use those genre tags, most of those that I just read off to you, as tags that I will um, a place on songs. So you can kind of see my genre tags over on the right side here. Um, so you can see pop and I say pop slash disco because disco is a, a part of that family and there's quite a few disco jams that I like to include. You can see I've got hip hop slash rap. I've got R&B and soul together and funk is also in there. That's a small subset I'd say. Um, rock and metal I've got in here. Uh, if I didn't say that earlier, that's definitely a, a genre. Of course, alt or alternative and indie folk kind of goes in there for me as well. Country. I've got a couple other, uh, you know, jazz is in here. I've got a couple other sub segments like Motown and doo-wop. EDM I broke out into a couple sections and I've got some Latin and some other things. But those are, th these are how I use genre for my music library. And if you think about those major genres, they can be broken into many, many, many subgenres. So I want to talk about that today. And um, I'll just point out real quick that if you haven't already, you should go here and subscribe to my channel. Um, I would love to have your subscription and uh, we're going to keep making awesome videos and putting them out for you guys. So if you subscribe, you'll get uh, notified of those. So let me show you guys uh, a couple web resources, internet resources about genres. And um, because if you research this, it's pretty fascinating. Now, if you just look up musical genres on Google, it's going to give you its typical suggestions list of, uh, you know, items. And what, what I like about this is it's, it's kind of aligns to what we were talking about earlier. It breaks out a couple of different things like heavy metal that I would probably put in rock, blues that I'd put in in the, the R&B rhythm and blues, or maybe mix it with jazz. But you can see some of these here, okay? Now, um, this list of, of genres, this is just getting pulled from the internet and Google's data mining, but here's a really good resource, of course, you know, Wikipedia is a great resource always for things like this, but I found this really good website and I'll just pop it up here. It's called musicgenrelist.com. And this is uh, genreslist.com. And this one is really great because it includes so much. And you'll see um, if we scroll down here, it starts off by giving you those high level sub uh, uh, classes, I guess you could call them, or, or genre categories, and then it breaks them down further. So you can see alternative. Well, there's lots of alternative, okay? There's goth and grunge and, you know, hardcore and new wave and Brit punk, all these great categories. What a great list this is, okay? Then you can kind of see different blues. I didn't even realize there were so many different blues categories, you know, Canadian blues, doom blues, hmm. And I guess this 
website author is calling out the people that uh, gave the uh, you know the the suggestion or pointed out that that subgenre. So any case, you can see here there's so many classical. Um, these would you would know um, you know impressionists broke. I mean you would know some of these just by name, but um, it's pretty cool. Uh, comedy even here. I wonder if this would be like, oh yeah, Weird Al, parody music. Okay, I get that. Uh, country music. Uh, look at all these country breakdowns. Um, let's get into some, there's, uh, oh, here's here's dance or EDM. All kinds of great ones. Here's uh, club, <laughs> bro step, yeah, uh, dubstep. Let's see, glitch pop, hardcore. All right, where's DMB? Um, did I miss it? Anyway, you can kind of see, and sometimes there's even like a, like a subclass of the subclass. So this can be a whole outline here. Uh, some of these, I have no idea. Dark Psy Trance. Mm, sounds like it'd be pretty cool. Um, but in any case, you look down here, you can see more uh, electronic, uh, not necessarily EDM, but more electronic, um, so uh, it looks like some down tempo. That's where they put the D&B. Um, and we could keep going through this, but you kind of kind of get the, the sense of, wow, there's a lot. Now, this is a very inclusive list, but there's a couple of things that I, I'd say are um, not great about it. Well, number one, it's not very easy to navigate. It's just like a flat uh, list you know, an outline just that I could go and scroll through and look at things, but it's really not organized super efficiently. Also, I don't get a sense of what these songs are all about. So if I'm like, what is avant-garde jazz? What does that even mean? Well, there's no description and there's not really any kind of like um, sound sample that would let me understand what that means. So I've got some other resources that I found that are super awesome when thinking about genres. Um, again, you may be fine with just that top level, you know, music genre. Okay. The list that you saw here on Google or the list I talked through in the beginning and I showed you in my DJ software, that might be sufficient for your needs, but you might want to, especially if you're a, a DJ that plays at a certain kind of club or you want to classify your music into very small subclasses. Um, I, I think going a step deeper is worth it. Now, what I do, and I can show you here in my music library again, just real quick. Um, I use these major families, these genre families or categories here. When I have a subclass, let's call it, uh, let, let's look at, for example, emo punk or uh, something like, um, something like uh, grunge music. What I would do is I've got my crate system here. And if I look here, subgenre, I've got a couple of these. So like grunge or emo punk. I just create, or disco, you can see here. I just create um, a crate for that subclass. So it's going to, if I pick Black Hole Sun, you know, it's I have rock as the major genre, but I know it's grunge, so I'm going to put it in that grunge crate. So if I want a grunge song or if I'm playing a party where I'm, I need to pull out of the, you know, grunge folder, I can go right to here and I don't have to waste you know, I don't want to. I don't want to have this genre list looking like that web page we just looked at. Okay, that's too many things. So this uh, hones in on what I need and what I want. Okay, guys, I'm going to move on and show you guys another cool uh, resource about regarding uh, genres. So this one is great to explore. I'm going to show you this first. It's called Every Noise at Once. <laughs> this one is insane. I mean, like when I was on here, um, when I first found this site, I thought, wow. Uh, and, and I played with it probably for, for an hour before I knew what I was, uh, you know, like, wow, where'd the time go kind of thing, you know? And basically what this is, is you can scroll around and it is essentially, talk about organization issues. Uh, this one is every genre, okay, known to mankind, I think, uh, in the universe, all in one page. And there's kind of like a, uh, the coding is, I'll, I'll show you guys, there's like major groupings. So um, pop here, see pop, and it's it's kind of like the text is a little bit bigger. It's a little larger. And then like if you have a subclass, uh, you might have uh, the text is a little bit smaller. And then all these other things are like related to 
you know, pop and then pop rap is the next category down. And then you've got all these things that are kind of like related to pop rap or belong to it. But you can see from pop, there's all these different things like post teen pop and, you know, there's uh, all kinds of things. But this goes through and really you get into some crazy stuff like, look, 8-bit music. You get into, um, it, there's a lot of dance stuff up here, as you can see, Deep Progressive House. Um, so there's the dance stuff, and then you kind of you kind of get into pop. And I'm kind of, I know I'm moving all around, and it, it, you know it's hard to follow on the screen. It's hard to follow when you're navigating. <laughs> um, but you go down here, here's rap, okay? And uh, certainly hip hop is here, and they split hip hop and rap up in the two. Then we start getting into rock. Uh, modern rock, pop rock, and then of course all the other things. Here's some gospel and things in here. So what makes this website cool other than it's really neat looking? It'd be neat as a poster like on a big wall or something with all the colors. What's awesome about it is that you click on these and it gives you a sample of that genre. This, uh, the maker of this website took the amazing amount of time that it would have taken to do this and basically put together a um, a sample of every genre. So just check it out. Like if I click hip hop. Right, right, cool. Let's say I'm like, okay, cool. I, I like that hip hop. Um, that's a good representative representative what's rap what do they think rap is you know what's the quintessential rap a little bit of mumble rap there um okay look southern hip-hop check this out <laughs> okay i like it a little bit of southern hip-hop k-pop what's up with k-pop what do you think they pick <laughs> Okay, kind of cool, kind of cool. What about, um, let's see, what's this uh, heavy gothic rock? Wow, see, what a, what a cool kind of setup here. Um, <laughs> and you could keep going, obviously. Chinese idol pop, I'm curious as to what this is. Wow, okay. All right. Okay, guys, you can kind of see what this website's doing. Okay, cool. And you notice I click pop and then I click the little arrow, okay? The little double arrow. And look what it did. It brought me into a bunch of artists that are it classified as pop, okay? And it, it, it even gives me like a little sub map here. Um, this gives me all these artists that are in pop and look, it even makes them like larger if they're bigger stars, if they are more representative of the genre. Talk about wow, right? I mean, and I can go back and I could do that with, I think any genre I want. Like, let's see um, who, who uh, Who's like in the, let's see, dance pop. Let's see who the, wow, look at this. Look, Calvin Harris, DNC, Dua Lipa, Chainsmokers. Just, you guys can get the drift. This is such a great resource and it can help you browse. It, it's not organized real pretty, but it, it, it's so powerful. Okay, guys, one other resource I wanna show you guys if you're playing around with genre genres or maybe you just want to discover new genres. This is probably my favorite. This is a beautiful, beautifully done website. It's called musicmap.info, okay? Now, what this shows is basically a map of all these genres that we've been talking about. So check it out. You can see here pop, country, R&B, blues, jazz, um, rap. You can see all these other different pieces. Here's some drum and bass, house, um, so all these great music genres, and then there's these, these other like sub genres that kind of come up here. Now you might wonder, well, what are all these shapes about? What are all these, and why does it look like a city landscape? Well, that's because this is an interactive map. It's so cool. So check this out. I can zoom in 
on any part of this map, get more information, start to browse. And also I can see data, metadata about songs and genres. And um, what's cool about it is that these, the taller the bars, these are like they've the song or the genre style has been out for longer. So the shorter ones, um, kind of the timeline is your Y axis. Uh, access. So uh, essentially some of these EDM type genres haven't been out for as long. So anyway, let's zoom in a little bit and you start to see some of the detail. Look at that, almost instantly you see all these lines and really what these are, are connective tissues showing me how the genres interrelate. And also you can see the timeline starts to appear. You can take, um, you can actually take video, uh, zoom in, you can do different things, t turn on and off layers. You can, uh, with this software, you can do prints. Uh, they have a store where you can do printouts of different parts of this. It's so, so, so cool. And it shows the, um, the power of big data. Um, so I'm just showing you guys like um, what I said before about how this is the almost like a Y axis is like the timeline. You can kind of see how some of the genre started. So we're over here in the dance part of this. You zoom in and you can kind of see some of the different genres, right? Like um, hip hop or hip house rather. And if you kind of hover over, it kind of shows you its connections, maybe where it came from. And remember this is the timeline. So typically th what this would tell me is that Chicago house and garage house was the genesis of progressive house. Um, maybe with a little bit of influence from hip house and Euro dance. Um, really, really cool information. And I'm just using my trackpad here to navigate this. Um, so let's go over here and take out and take a look at, okay, here we're in the punk and uh, a couple different noise rock. Okay, that's cool. So looks like noise rock was a predecessor to drum, to grunge. And I really like grunge. I'm gonna check this out. So what you can do is you can see the influences coming in from different places, punk rock, thrash metal. Really cool, right? And you can see metal, thrash metal was, it's part of that brown colored column. It's, it's part of hard rock or metal versus grunge also has some punk um, influences as well. But when I click this, this goes deep into what is grunge. It tells me a little bit about uh, its timeline what it's all about, where it originated. And then are you guys sitting down? Check this out. I click playlist and boom, it gives me like the representative songs in that class and a very nice format. You can actually play maybe a YouTube video or two here. Just such a cool, cool resource here. Um, this is another one where I could spend hours and hours and, you know, over multiple sessions just playing with learning about these different styles. Like you think about the old, some of these old standards like blues and Chicago jazz. Like, you know, I, I click this. It tells me about when the, when the start of the genre came out. I can click this playlist and I get these iconic classics that f fit the style of Chicago jazz. Come on, this is like one of the coolest things. And I'm so thankful that it's a resource out there for us to play with. So in any case, this is musicmap.info. Please check it out and look at it um, and explore. Maybe uh, just make yourself a goal to learn one new music genre. Just explore, you know, maybe it's over here. Maybe you're more of a, um, a house DJ and you know a lot of dance music, maybe come over here to the the bronze and brown section and the green section, learn a new genre, just learn about it, explore it. Um, this is fuel for us DJs who have a passion for music. All right, guys, that's it for the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave me a, a note in the comment section below if I didn't talk about maybe one of the key genres that you uh, know about or that you think I missed, or um, if you have any feedback about these tools, or maybe you have an idea about another tool that you found a resource about genres. Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, thanks, and I'll talk to you next time.